My name is Laka Waidaka, and um, I got in the, into music just, I guess, just copying my older brother. He was very much into music. He learned to play the keyboards um, pretty early on, and um, he started playing in church. And I was like, "Yo, this guy is so cool!" So uh, I also started learning how to play the keyboards from him. Then during the school holidays, I'd look for some something to do, so I started playing the guitar, then the drums, then by event, but. Um, Deep down inside, I always wanted to play the saxophone. Um, my brother used to watch a, lo a lot of jazz videos, and um, I'd see the sax player, and I think, you know, that's that's something I want to do. So Shamsi Music, we started in October of 2014, and what happened is earlier that year we played like this set of musicians, this mix of musicians. We played together at a benefit concert uh, for the Kenya Ngera Education Foundation, and I think. That was because it was a collective of different musicians, just friends of the foundation, and I think it was just a perfect mix. And we, we just realized we had great chemistry, um, great blend uh, musically or sonically. And so later on that year, um, the the band leader he's called Paul Mbidi. So Mbidi called me and he's like, you know, um, I really loved what we did uh, back away in, in in May. And um, could we get together and talk about the possibility of forming a band? And I was like, yeah, sounds great. So we met together, he explained what his vision was for the band. And I, you know, bought in and we got another member now, Biggie, the, who's now our manager. And uh, we got other people involved as well. Um, and we came up with a six piece uh, setup. And that's, that's how we started, yeah. Actually, one of our goals for this year was to play in all the festivals we can in the region. So in, in Kenya, in Uganda, in Rwanda, Tanzania, and you know, we're applying for all those, those festival spots. Uh, next year we want to go you know, international or move out of East and Central Africa. Um, so yeah, that's, that's, that's stuff we want to do. We want to tour, we want to record, we want to do collaborations. And um, I think you know, we're off on the right foot. Um, if we can keep the, the group dynamics good and keep everyone in and together, you know, the, the, the sky's the limit. I want to revolutionize the industry. I want to change um, the face of Afro jazz. Uh, I want to create a Kenyan jazz sound. So there's, there's, there's different things that, that we want for ourselves individually and, and, as, and corporately as, as a group and corporately as musicians in Kenya um, that make it um, much bigger than just, you know, our own little, little wants and, and, and ambitions. I don't think jazz can be relevant to a culture if it doesn't um, look like the culture. Because itself, it's, it's, it's like an amalgamation of what was relevant to the people at that time. So if we're only playing like big band 1920s kind of jazz thing, you know, New Orleans or Harlem or whatever, you know, that's, that's, that doesn't, you know, sit right with what we have in our identity, in our DNA as you know, Kenyans and Africans, um, because that's not our heritage, basically. Um, so for us, it's discovering the sounds, the rhythms, the you know, different melodies and everything that are uniquely Kenyan, that are embedded deep in who we are, um, and then fusing it with stuff that's more modern and progressive, uh, so that it's new, it's on the edge, but it's still familiar and it still resonates deeply with us. Today, what we're doing is we're launching our debut album and we're very excited, very excited about it. Um, this is like 90% original material and I think there's just one song, which is like a remake of like an old gospel song. Um, so, you know, we're, we're very excited. Uh, the music's been around for a bit, um, but today is when we're doing the official launch. The album is called The Audition, and what inspired the name The Audition was because we're auditioning for the Sfaricom International Jazz Festival, and we, we auditioned like three times, and the third time we got in. So 
this is also like our audition with with the the larger audience you know um for people who've never heard uh, about chamsi music or never heard us play never heard our music um this is the audition with them and you know we hope we pass the audition Thank you.